our research group we've started off studying what might seem to be different conditions from arthritis, which is often seen as a problem with the bones and joints, to things like um, shoulder problems, which are often associated with tendons and then back pain. So seemingly different problems, but we've seen that the same factors are influencing all these different conditions. So that means, for example, in people with arthritis, the factors that are key to recovery, like being able to control your pain, being able to remain active, being able to um, enhance your overall health in terms of sleep, mental health, stress, these are actually the same barriers to recovery that we see in things like back pain. So what has evolved over time is that we are increasingly working together in seemingly different conditions using a similar approach. And I guess that's consistent with the idea that we're not treating arthritis or we're not treating back pain. We're treating people who happen to be presenting with specific conditions. It's a mix of, I suppose, academic, typical academic research, some very lab-based work that we would do here in the university, and then working with our HSE and other health partners to do what we call real-world research, um, which takes place in people's homes and trying best to capture what people's lives are actually really like and getting their perspective. And the final part that we do a lot of here is what we call qualitative research, which is where we interview people with arthritis and chronic diseases and we ask them about their experiences. We ask them what they think about the equipment we use, how acceptable it is to them and we also ask them about um, how they're experiencing having their condition and that's been really insightful and that's where we get a huge amount of rich information that often starts more research and gives us a new avenue, a new way to focus. In terms of the impact our research has we would like to think of it as having I suppose three strands. Firstly there's the actual patients we treat ourselves in our studies and we've seen and we have um, studies which demonstrate a pretty good effect again more than what is typically achieved in people with back pain. Unfortunately, that's in a really small number and we're not going to change something like back pain with one or two little studies. So this second strand has been taking physiotherapists working in the Irish Health Service and training them to deliver this treatment in a range of settings. So these are people who are taking the average patient with back pain in primary care and hospital sites all over Ireland and delivering um, this type of approach to back pain in a more realistic setting. And thirdly, and this one shouldn't be underestimated, actually dealing with people themselves in terms of the information they have about back pain. It's very important to me personally that my research has an impact at a personal level for people individually with arthritis um, and groups of people with arthritis and also on health service delivery um, and to be able to be part of a big initiative that has resulted in um, a huge impact on waiting lists for people with a chronic disease who if they were left on that waiting list would have ended up in greater pain and greater disability. Each university will have its own unique focus and the University of Limerick has a long tradition of emphasising practical, relevant um, experience and research, um, typified by the cooperative education approach that the university has used for many decades. And our research is strongly aligned to that in that, without dismissing research which is more remote from clinical practice, our research is directly impacting on the patients affected with back pain and also the healthcare providers who are treating them. So by directly influencing their practice, based on good research we can transform or at the very least improve the lives of people with back pain.